75-year-old diabetic Antonina Ramos loves to make tamales. She loves to eat them too, even though her doctor warns against it. Well, they tell me that I have to get in a diet and uh, I'm not supposed to eat greasy stuff and candy and stuff like that. Mrs. Ramos says for the most part, she watches what she eats to keep her blood sugar under control, but she does admit to slip ups. But then when I usually break the rules, then sometimes it goes to 200. That's why she says she relies on medication to keep her glucose levels in check. But her doctor warns so drugs alone are not enough. The oral medications um, will work. They will help lower your blood sugar, but they are limited. And so what we also know is that most of them will only be able to lower your, what we call hemoglobin A1C, by about 2%. Recent study shows that for 90% of diabetes patients, dietary modifications and an exercise plan can more effectively lower blood sugar levels. Either 7% weight loss or a walking program, both, both of those can singly reduce um, either someone who is pre-diabetic becoming diabetic or someone who's diabetic can improve, get into the normal glycemic range. For many diabetic patients, maintaining a strict diet can be difficult. It is for me, but uh, because I like Mexican food. But research shows it is the best long-term treatment for type 2 diabetes. For Baylor Healthcare System, I'm Dr. David Winter.